Astronomy GCSE, topic 12, exoplanets. So what is an exoplanet? And it's a planet that orbits a star not in our solar system. It's going around another star apart from our sun. Now, how do we detect them? Uh, very important, it is very, very difficult to detect them. Why? because they are very, 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 very far away. Stars are very far away. With our most powerful telescope, uh, any star apart from our sun is just a point of light. Stars are very, very far away. So if you think about trying to see a planet going around a star, it is almost impossible. So how do we go about finding exoplanets? Well, there are three ways that we need to know. And they are, first of all, transit methods. We talked about the transit of Venus in another video. And then looking at stellar wobble. And there are two ways we can look at stars wobbling. One of them is to look at their radial velocity using Doppler spectroscopy. And the other one is uh, astrometry. And I'll talk about these three methods now. So the transit method is basically, there's the star, there's a, a planet in orbit around the star, and as the planet goes across the face of the star, the amount of light that we see, there is a dip in the light curve. Later on in topic 13, we'll talk more about light curves, but the uh, amount of light that we get coming from the star is a little bit less as the planet goes in front of it. Uh, there was a, a telescope, the Kepler Space Telescope, and it was sent up to look at the light curves of lots of different stars, and it managed to discover about 2,600 exoplanets using this method. And you can work out the period, you can work out the, the mass of the star, you can work out all kinds of stuff from this light curve. Okay, now if you look at this animation, there's a, a planet going around a star, but look at the star and notice that it is moving, it is wobbling. And why is it wobbling? Well, it's because of the gravity of the planet, because the, the center of gravity of both of them isn't together, isn't in the middle of the star. It's a little bit towards the planet. So the, they influence each other gravitationally and the star wobbles. Now, if we can investigate this wobble, that would be evidence for the planet. And there's a couple of ways that we can do it. Now, you should have done it in GCSE physics, or you should be doing at some point redshift. You should know that if something like a, a galaxy is moving away from us, then the light coming from the galaxy is stretched and we call this redshift, the wavelength gets a bit bigger. Uh, the opposite of that is if a galaxy or a star was moving towards us, then the light would be squished and that would be blue shift. So when we look at some of these stars, what we notice is that it's like redshift and then blue shift and then redshift and then blue shift as the star gets further away and then closer and then further away and then closer and this could be due to an exoplanet it could be due to the star wobbling we can only use this method if if you look at the diagram below if the plane of the orbit of the exoplanet is we are looking side on at it uh, so that the star is getting closer and further away from us if we were looking from above then the distance wouldn't be changing and we wouldn't be able to see this. But this is called the, the radial velocity measurement, radial velocity measurement or Doppler spectroscopy. I've actually done a, another video about the Doppler effect. See if you can find that. Astrometry. Now astro is stars, metry means measuring, and this means actually measuring the position of the star directly. And in the past we haven't been able to do this very well to find exoplanets, but in 2013 
they sent up the European Space Agency sent up the Gaia spacecraft and it measured the positions of lots and lots of stars very 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 accurately its main job was to measure the distance how far away stars are using something called heliocentric parallax which I'm going to talk about that in topic 13 but also it detected this stellar wobble and from this stellar wobble uh, you can actually find evidence for exoplanets. So the Gaia spacecraft using astrometry actually directly measuring the position of the stars uh, has found evidence for lots of exoplanets.